Well, hello there. I'm in War 07, and I'm bringing to you the patch notes and review of these patch notes. It's a new series. This is a new series I'm trying to make uh, weekly episodes where I will be reviewing the patch notes for Modern Warfare slash Warzone. So if you want to get going with these ones weekly and you like the ones, after, the ones I give you on this video, just hit the sub button and the like button and let's get rolling. So... People, this is version 1.17 from Modern Warfare slash Warzone uh, patch notes. It pretty much covers March 10th to the 16th because, uh, for example, Call of Duty typically, from what I've heard, this being my first one, uh, I've my research has shown that pretty much every Tuesday weekly there is a change of playlist and I believe a patch note uh, or a patch release for that matter. So let's get to it. To start off... I got this uh, patch note. I tried to get the actual link, but they said on the Infinity War Twitter, and then I went there and I couldn't find anything. So th that's that. Uh, by the way, my hairdo today is nuts, I know. Uh, but let's start with it. They added Search and Rescue, which I've played it. I'll show you some footage of it as I speak. Uh, the actual game mode is fun. I don't know if it is new, but I enjoyed it. It is just uh, two teams, uh, they fight each other to plant a bomb, one team plants, the other one defends, and then you switch, you know, ever so number of rounds. And in order to be, to come back into a game, you, after you're killed, your teammates can revive you, which is something I appreciate and I enjoyed, but it is one of those game modes that I personally would not play without a, at least two to three guys or a full team. Just by myself, it was kind of frustrating or boring, you could say. Uh, then there is the Mayhem Mosh Pit 10 versus 10 grind drop zone in Cranked, which I did not get to test. I have a few friends that told me they enjoy it, uh, but of course I do not have personal experience on that. Let me know in the comments below if you played it and if you enjoyed it. Uh, removing Boots on the Ground War, I actually uh, didn't play that mode. I know a friend of mine that did and he enjoyed it a lot. I've seen some YouTube videos that they enjoyed it quite a bit, so they're sad that they're that it's gone. Uh, but anyway, that's that. Now let's jump into general fixes. They added a new shotgun, the VLK Rogue. Uh, I have not been able to unlock it yet. I'll get that going uh, this coming week. Um, by Tuesday, I will be able to let you know what's up with that. Uh, one thing that I've been struggling is to unlock the ROM 7 or the RAM 7 gun rifle. Uh, for some reason, it says that the requirements for it is get um, headshots in 25 headshots. Oh, by the way, did you just see that? My iPad does that. It'll like have random um, touches, kind of like it's self-aware almost, but it's only sporadically. So it might be becoming self-aware. But anyway, uh, that's besides the point. The, the ROM 7, if you can help me figure out that, I'm going to be looking it up online, but if you can help me in the comment section below, I don't know why. Uh, it says get two headshots with assault rifle in 25 different ma matches. I've done it. Uh, I actually have done two headshots in different matches, multiple times the two headshots, and nothing. It doesn't fill up. So if you have any tips on that, please share them with me on nwar07 on social medias, by the way, if you don't want to leave a comment on YouTube. I know how that can get and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, back to general fixes. Uh, so I'll let you know on the VLK Rogue. Uh, they fixed the bug that prevented respawning after a DEF CON nuke had been set off in Realism Ground War. I did not experience that myself. Increased damage to Juggernauts when being hit by a Thermite crossbow, which I guess it's good. I haven't confronted many Juggernauts because I typically hunt the people that I notice they're racking up kill streaks. I personally pursue them in my game. So you can call me off and call me a piece of jack um, for doing that, but I do not want you to get a Juggernaut. Uh, various exploit fixes, including fixes to Hackney Yard and Piccadilly. I did not, doesn't say which ones. Uh, fix for a bug where a different pistol than one was equipped would appear when climbing a ladder. I think that's an interesting one. Fix the bug where any charm used alongside the MP7 Bengal variant would clip through the weapon. That is not bueno. Aesthetically unpleasing. Uh, various ground war uh, exploit fixes, of course. We gotta fix those. Fix for a bug where a constant yellow high alert screen would persist after death if the player died while the perk was granted via specialist. I never suffered that, but I've seen screenshots and whatnot, and I mean, they fixed it. 
fixed a bug in the after action report that would display zero in the challenge field, even if a challenge had been completed. That reminded me of uh, the Gears 5 tournament in Mexico. Uh, one of the team members uh, on Fire and Ice, I think it was, uh, he had zero kills and 14 or so deaths on the final scoreboard after the game was done. And people gave so much trash and flack for it, but then the announcers are like, okay, that has to be a bug. There's no way he killed zero in a 15 plus minute match. And everybody was like, hey, I don't need to do much to be a pro. Anyway, it was hilarious. Um, let's see what else we got. Fix the bug that would spawn players elsewhere on the map after using a tactical insertion near the crawl space on Rust. Well, that would suck. <laughs> Fix the bug in the giant infection mode that spammed radio VO across all teammates when a player is a driver or passenger. Uh, Fix the bug that allowed players to deploy throwable field upgrades during the round countdown. After the countdown ends, the player would still have another field upgrade available. This has been fixed. I love how it says, fix the bug that allowed, and then it says, this has been fixed. Give me a second. After the countdown ends, oh, okay, so there's a period. My bad. Added option to toggle a square or circular minimap. Uh, this is something most people have not realized. Uh, I'm going to go to the website and show you what it looks like so you can tell. Let me see if it's not on video form. So there it is. So you can toggle this uh, by going in order to switch. This is the website is the Exerto. It's the one that popped up on news. I've never heard of these guys. In order to switch from a circular minimap to a square one, all you have to do is go to your options tab, and your options, sorry, then the tab over to general, scroll down the section labeled, and then they misspelled labeled, I suppose, HUD, H-U-D, and switch the option labeled minimap shape to square. Uh, this will take immediate effect and they say apparently, um, I don't know if it was this article, but I found it myself on Reddit, um, but then this reminded me of it. People were saying that it allows for a 20 or so plus percent uh, greater range of view of the map. Therefore, you have technically an advantage. Uh, so if you want more space to be able to keep track of more uh, map then you're so for example red dots when people shoot or in competitive gaming where they're always displayed on the map uh then you would technically be able to have an advantage over someone that has a circular shape i personally will keep it at circular i think because i enjoy it uh, but uh, aesthetically but i'll give a shot i'll give a try on tuesday or monday to the square one let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below if you want to do the circular or square one and why it is not fair if you think it is not so anyway that's the general fixes jumping into weapons i got some footage for you i tried it out uh, for about two three matches the 725 sawed off barrel this one i made a mistake i actually this is embarrassing <laughs> nice for a first video isn't it uh, the 725 sawed off barrel i used the wrong version i used the normal version so anyway uh, I'll just let that play as I describe the changes and then I'll test it for you and get back to you to see what I find. But anyway, uh, meaning every week I will test when a gun gets changed, I'll test it for you and let you know if I feel like it's broken or the fixes were actually better. Uh, increase the move speed, they increase the aiming down sight spread and reduce the aiming down sight's damage, reduce the far damage range, and extend the very damage range. I think those are the sawed-off barrel. I actually tested the non-sawed-off one on the footage as you can see, and it is still the long distance gun everyone hates. I even got one player at the end of the match to use the same gun I was using because he was pissed off that I was destroying in that match. My team was destroying him anyway. Uh, but anyway, fix for the ROM 7 variant. I think it's ROM, but maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong because RAM or ROM on Gears. I always pronounce, pronounced it RAM, or I mean RAM. Uh, R-A, by the way, English, and you know what I'm talking about. This should be pronounced initially as it is on the alphabet. But anyway, that's a topic for a different day. The Corruptor variant, not allowing the use of any sniper scopes. Uh, I did not suffer from that because I can't seem to unlock the weapon. 
fix the bug that could create an infinite ammo glitch on the Model 680, updating the ammo descriptions to the Bluggener LMG in the Skullhammer shotgun, plus fix the bug for using an MVG thermal scope on the GRA 5.56 could cause a graphical bug. Uh, I never experienced that bug, but I suppose it is true. Before I go, uh, before we keep going, I want to show you something on Reddit real quick. Look at this. Apparently, friend dies from getting a rock thrown at him and even had... <coughs> Apparently, a friend dies from getting a rock thrown at him and even has a kill cam to show it was the rock thrower. Let's make it big for you so you can see it. Look at this. Let's look at it. Yeah, as we can see, that's what happened. Uh, apparently, it is not supposed to. You're supposed to only get a one non-lethal non 1 HP damage from the rocks. So it's definitely a bug, but more than likely will be fixed. It is not on this patch notes because this patch notes, of course, it is the first official release patch notes of uh, Warzone. Now, to finish off, people, mission and challenges. Fix for a bug that only displayed the one-shot kill splash metal on screen when a sniper was used. This is fixed to display whenever any one-shot one kills like shotguns or marksman rifles are used. Fix for the get 50 kills with light machine guns challenge not tracking as intended, which I hope they fix for my ROM 7. Fix for Golem's third mission objective. Get five kills using lethal equipment not tracking properly. And all vehicles now award progress to any challenges that require X vehicle run over kills. Updates to splash screen and in-game HUD as players make progress in the Allegiance, Allegiance missions. Classic special operations fix the bug that prevented players from being able to finish moves on enemy AI. This has been fixed, which I don't know why that one repeated itself twice. But anyway, Bomb Squad fix for a bug their enemies might not spawn until after the last bomb is defused. Special operations survival leaderboards for Azir Cave Nighttime and Saint Petrograd have been added. Special Operations, which I do not currently play, even though I own the game on the PlayStation and the Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, I do not play them because they're against the AI and I'm not a big fan of that. But anyway, camera is now in a fixed position when reviving while prone or crouched, which probably was really annoying. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know any about that. Uh, how bad was it? Hostages will reset to a safe area if dropped out of bounds, and then fix match ending if the last live player calls in a team revive but goes down before the other player revives themselves. Fix some instances where the juggernaut music could stay on unintentionally. Increase heavy hitter weapon perk to two time melee damage. Ensure that players who are parachuting receive the out of bounds warning if they drift out of bounds. And fix for hint prompts showing up while players are in last stand. Fix for an edge case that could prevent the fourth squad leader from spawning in during Operation Headhunter and Operation Just Reward. And they fixed an issue where the cell phone intel would fail to drop, plus Operation Strongbox fixed a bug where destroying an enemy Wilson was not granting any XP. Uh, keyboard and mouse, a contextual menu is now displayed when key BM player right click on username in the social menu party tab. Now, to finish off, PC, several fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability. New PC players that are using latest Battle.net client now have access to a simple one-click way of creating their Activision account using their Battle.net credentials and fixed a few cases where certain social media pop-up messages will display incorrectly in higher aspect ratios. That, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much my patch notes review or report for this March 10th to the 16th. Um, if you have anything here that you want to discuss about it, me personally, just my ROM 7 and messing up on the 725 shot off barrel. Um, but this is my first video. I hope to improve as I go. And if you like it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like it. And we'll get the notification bell so you get notified whenever a patch note release. And I'll take care of it on Tuesdays if that if I'm correct that that's when they release. Anyway, I'm in War 07 and I appreciate your time. Let's get going on the battlefield. Because Modern Warfare is dope, isn't it?